Hey everyone, Savu here, and today I will show you the easiest way to create a blinking animation for your 2D game character. Let's jump into it. So for this tutorial I'm going to use the main character of Creature Lens, my mobile RPG game. I actually always wanted him to have an eye blinking effect, but since the release I never got the time for that. Now the time is definitely right to do it together, follow along. The first step is to separate the face of the character into three layers. One with only the shape of the face, without any eyes. Another one with the eyes opened. And the last one with closed eyes. When you have your sprites done, export them from Photoshop and import them directly into Unity. If you want some more specific infos about the drawing process, I will have a link in the description which will guide you through that. Let's open Unity, find our character and drag him into the scene. The next step is to set the sprite we've created to multiple and cut out the face and the eyes in the sprite editor. I have already done this, so let's see what happens if we replace the face sprite of our game character with a new face without the eyes. Just for testing, let's run some of the animations. As you see, the new face sprite is animated exactly as the previous one without any problem. Looks really creepy, right? Let's add the eyes. For that, create a new 2D sprite under your face or head game object. Name it, for example, eyes open and simply assign the sprite with the opened eyes to it. If for some reason the sprite disappears, check the sorting layer and adjust it based on your project. For me, for some reason, it's the monster sorting layer. When you finally see the eyes, you can adjust them at the right position you want them to be. When you are happy with that, follow exactly the same steps to create a 2D sprite for the closed eyes. Now that we have set up the character, it's time to create a new animation which will handle the blink effect. Open your animation window and with the red button selected, move the mark at the 1 second position. Deactivate here the open eye sprite and activate the closed ones. Right now, when playing the animation, you will see that nothing happens. This is because the samples are too high. Let's reduce them to 20. In addition, make a copy of the last frame keys with Ctrl C and paste them with Ctrl V, let's say 3 frames before the end. This will keep the eyes closed for a perfect amount of time. Of course, you can change that according to your preferences. And this is everything we need for the blinking animation. We only need a final step to implement it the right way. Open up your animator window. Well, my character has a lot of animations, but don't freak out, you don't need this mess. It's very simple, trust me. Under the layer window, create a new layer and name it blink layer. On this one, make sure to increase the weight to 1. Doing this, the blink layer will be exactly the same important as the base layer and each animation will be played simultaneously. Next, create a new state inside of the blink layer and assign the blink animation. Make also sure to check loop time on your blink animation since we want it to play non-stop. And that's it, so easy. Everything is done and ready for testing. Let's play the game for a bit. On our main menu, everything works fine. Our character is blinking. Hopping into our first level, we see that we can jump, run and attack and all that with the blinking animation enabled. Blinking is such a simple effect, but makes your game character stand out and feels much more realistic. Hope you enjoyed the video and consider smashing the like and subscribe buttons, I would appreciate it so much. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Ciao!